Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from Stemic PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to uh, take over where we left off in the last tutorial. If you recall in the last tutorial we installed the Tesseract uh, OCR engine um, and in this tutorial we're going to start applying it in, uh, to, uh, in, in a plate recognition environment and, uh, and we have a lot to cover so let's get started. Before I start, I, I, there's something that I forgot to tell you in the last tutorial. Um, I am assuming that you have OpenCV installed in, in your computer because we're going to be using OpenCV. Um, I do not show you how to install it in this series of tutorials because I go in detail in other tutorials of how to do it. I go um, step by step how to install it. So you, if you need to install it in your computer, you can always watch uh, one of my older tutorials. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the first thing we need to do, being that we're going to do plate recognition, uh, a license plate recognition, um, the tags on a, on a license plate, um, we need an image, so we need a license plate. So I already took a um, an image of uh, of a license plates. These are this is one that I took myself. This is an older one that I took also, and this is one that I got from the internet. I just want to show you, uh, give you a few options. Um, I'm going to what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to apply Tesseract just with the Leptonica library, and then in the next in the second part of the tutorial, I will show you how to use it uh, using OpenCV, and you will see the differences. That way, you have an option depending on the application that you're that, that you're interested in. You you can choose and you can try it, uh, the algorithm to to your application, and whatever gives you the best results, then you you decide to to use that one. Okay, so let's open a terminal. And I'm going to show you this image. This is just a regular image. It's a 640 by 480. It's a it's a workable. Um, it's just nothing. It's at a, bit, at a bit at an angle, and and that will make a difference. And I, I'll explain as we go through it. And this is the other image. I took this one with my phone, and it's uh, my car. As you can see, there's snow in the. Uh, on my car, this is being snowing here, and this is a bigger image. This is a 4,320 by 2,432 pixels. Okay, so it's a huge image. So what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to convert it uh, into a size similar to this one, so it's uh, it's easier to work with. Um, just for this example. Okay, so let's uh, let's do. Actually, I think I have it. Yeah, no, I have it uh, there. So the name of the image is Plate One PNG. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm using uh, Image Magic. Uh, if you don't have it installed in your computer, you can always uh, install it by just going to. Uh, uh, image magic. It's it's something with some distros. It comes with some Linux distros already. Uh, I think I'm not. I don't remember if it comes with Ubuntu. I think it does. Uh, but it's an older version. If, if you wanna install the newer version, you can go, go to the Image Magic website and and download these source files and you can build them yourself. Uh, so it's played one. Hey PNG. So as you can see, I'm using the convert command from image magic i'm taking plate 1a png which is this image right here and i'm resizing it to a workable size uh, 640 by 480 which is the same size on this plate right here and i'm telling it to ignore the as aspect ratio because i i don't want the system to 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 do, do the height for me or the width i'm telling it to just take what I give them, okay? So I'm forcing it to just um, t m take these dimensions, okay? And then this is the name of the new image, which is plate 1A PNG, which is the same name. So it's actually going to replace this one, okay? If you don't want to replace your original image, just give it a different name, okay? So I don't mind replacing it because I have it 
have it somewhere else so I just go hit enter and it's telling me uh, PNG read image, image uh, oh that's why it's not plate 1A it's plate 1 so 1A and play 1 PNG and it does it and as you can see it's converting it right there and if we now look at the properties of the image you can see 640 he uh, reduced it uh, to 640 by 480 okay so now it's a, it's a, it's a much uh, nicer size to, to play with okay so now what we're going to do we're going to apply Tesseract let me clear this so you can see better and let me so you can read better also uh, let's clear okay let me make it bigger clear okay so okay so let's go so I'm going to do tesseract it's the command and then the name of the image that you're going to use in our case it's plate one PNG and then where the name of the file where you're going to output the text so I'm just gonna call it output you can call it whatever you want it doesn't matter and you don't need to put the txt uh, suffix because it does it automatically all you need to do is output or whatever name you want to use or you want to call it and just hit enter and as you can see it's using Tesseract OCR 303 that's the version we downloaded and it's using the Leptonica uh, library okay so now if we see if we want to as you can see it created this file right here so if we want to see what it what it did all you need to do is cat to spit out the contents of that file and it's cat output text and as you can see it did a pretty good job okay it, it um, as you can see it's 56205 it missed the 2 here but it got the Rhode Island um, the little the little anchor here he got uh, he got uh, mistaken for a for a J as you can see here but he tried it did it did it did a pretty good job I mean not perfect but it, it tried okay so that's just using Tesseract by itself um, in the next tutorial I will show you how to use Tesseract but instead of Tesseract by itself just with the Leptonica library I'm gonna show you how to use it using OpenCV um, if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching